As you take this step into creating video content, there are some tools you might want to have that will make this process a little bit easier for you. Now, as I've said in previous videos, you really don't need anything other than your cell phone because your cell phone will have a decent enough quality video on there that you can shoot very easily. You can trim it down right there on your phone and get it up on any platform that you want to post on. But if you've been doing video for a while and you're like, man, I just want to take this to the next level, but I don't know where to go. There are some some tools that may help you to do this a little bit better. And so what I'm going to do in this video is just show you some of the tools that I use when I create my videos for LinkedIn and Facebook and YouTube. So here you see my setup. And what I have here is a Canon Rebel 2 DSLR camera. Now, I've owned this before I started doing video content. And since I had it, it was like, well, why don't I just use a nicer camera since I've already paid for it? On top of there, I do have a microphone. Now, I recommend if you are going to invest in a microphone, invest in a Rode. They are higher quality microphones that are going to pick up your voice much better and produce a better sound. But this is a, cam or a microphone that I purchased to use with my iPhone after my DSLR kind of needed to be worked on. And I was using my cell phone for all my videos again. You'll also notice I have two tripods here, one for the DSLR camera and then kind of one sitting over here that I use for my cell phone. So when I do those simultaneously recording on two different cameras, I use both tripods to be able to hold the DSLR and my cell phone. You'll also notice my little notepad down here. I use this to kind of remind myself of what I want to say. So if I forget what that next point is, or I'm kind of stammering a little bit, I can look down and see my notes. You also have the uh, cell phone tripod that I, I mentioned in a previous video that if you're just getting started, $10, $15 on Amazon, this will basically help your video to not be shaky. So once I've done, once I've finished recording the video, what I do is take it off the camera and put it onto my computer and then put it into After Effects. Now I use After Effects for editing only because it came free with my Adobe Creative Cloud subscription. So if you know of another software or platform or website that makes editing videos easier, please let me know because I'm looking for a way, I don't know After Effects that well, and so I'm looking for a way to make the editing process easier. And as I've mentioned before, I use Temi for my captions. It's very easy to drag the video onto the website, it uploads, they transcribe it within five minutes, and then you can sit there and you can edit the text. They're actually very accurate, so there's very little editing that I have to do. And then you can export it in multiple formats. I always try to export into Microsoft Word. That way I have the full transcription that I can then turn into a blog post later on. And I export into the SRT format, which is what you have to upload onto LinkedIn and Facebook and YouTube. Just a little side tip here, if you are cross-posting, it is good to change the name of the SRT file format if you want to upload onto Facebook to do whatever name you want it to be, like contentmastery.en underscore US. That is what Facebook requires, and so I always change the SRT uh, exports into that file name format. That way I can upload it to whatever platform, I it'll upload easily to Facebook and I'm done. And so those are just a few tools that I use and it's kind of helped me have a little bit better quality video, a little bit better quality sound, better captions and really uh, just a, a better experience overall. The next investment I'm gonna be making is into some lighting because the lighting in this office is horrendous. I actually don't have the light on because if I turn it on, everything looks orange. And so if, you are, if you're shooting in a place that has bad lighting, get some kind of light. They're not that, that expensive on Amazon. I'm, I'm looking at a few to really just brighten it up so I can do videos later in the day. So I hope that helps. As always, there is a resource linked in the comments below that kind of lists out some of the tools I use or some tools that I know other people use for you to kind of think through how do I take my videos to the next level? And as always, if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below or shoot me a message. I'm more than happy to help you. But if you are already producing video and there are some tools that you use or some software that you use, please let us know what it is in the comments below so that we all can kind of grow in this 
together. And until tomorrow, when I have another great tip for you, I hope you all have a great day.